Hello everyone. In our previous modules, we have learned about the reaction of metals and non-metals with air or oxygen. We now know that the oxides of metals are generally either basic or amphoteric, though the oxides of non-metals are generally acidic. We do have some neutral oxides as well. Let us learn how metals behave with cold water, hot water and steam. Metals generally react with cold water to produce metal hydroxide and hydrogen. Let us start by observing how sodium metal behaves with water. Sodium reacts vigorously with cold water forming sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. This reaction of sodium with cold water is highly exothermic and hence the hydrogen gas produced in the reaction catches fire and burns with a yellow flame causing small explosions. We can conclude here that sodium is a highly reactive metal. Can you recall where is sodium stored? It is stored under kerosene. We now know that sodium and potassium behave similarly in many reactions. Recall that potassium also reacts vigorously with cold water just like sodium to form potassium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Calcium metal also reacts vigorously with cold water to produce calcium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Calcium starts floating as the bubbles of the hydrogen gas formed stick to the surface of the metal. Magnesium, iron, copper, zinc and lead do not react with cold water. Let us check their reaction with hot water. Magnesium metal does not react with cold water. It reacts with hot water to form magnesium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Magnesium also rapidly reacts with steam to form magnesium oxide and hydrogen gas. Metals like aluminium, zinc and iron react neither with cold nor with hot water. They react with steam to form a metal oxide and hydrogen. Aluminium reacts with steam to form aluminium oxide and hydrogen. Zinc reacts with steam to form zinc oxide and hydrogen gas. Red hot iron reacts with steam to form ferrous ferric oxide and hydrogen. Metals like lead, copper, silver and gold do not react even with steam. Non-metals do not react with water to evolve hydrogen gas. It is because non-metals cannot give electrons to reduce the hydrogen ions of water into hydrogen gas. Except for the highly reactive non-metals like fluorine. Fluorine vigorously reacts with water to form hydrogen fluoride and oxygen. We shall now summarize what we have learnt in this module. Metals generally react with water to produce metal hydroxide and hydrogen. Sodium reacts vigorously with cold water forming sodium hydroxide 
and hydrogen gas. The reaction of sodium with water is highly exothermic reaction. Sodium is a highly reactive metal. Potassium reacts vigorously with cold water to form potassium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Calcium metal also reacts with cold water to form calcium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Calcium is less reactive than sodium and potassium. Magnesium metal does not react with cold water. It reacts with hot water to form magnesium hydroxide and hydrogen. Magnesium also rapidly reacts with steam to form magnesium oxide and hydrogen gas. Metals like aluminium, zinc and iron react with neither cold nor hot water. These metals react with steam to form metal oxide and hydrogen. Zinc reacts with steam to form zinc oxide and hydrogen gas. Red hot iron reacts with steam to form iron 2 and 3 oxide and hydrogen. Metals like lead, copper, silver and gold do not react with water or even with steam. Non-metals do not react with water to evolve hydrogen gas. Fluorine vigorously reacts with water to form hydrogen fluoride and oxygen.